Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to part 10 on CMS blogging system. Today we would be going ahead and we would be taking care of our create post.php page. But very first I would be creating a new table out here that would be posts and let's say the fields to be 8 for now. But if you need any more, we will add them later. So I would be saying ID, then I would be saying a title. Okay, title. Then I need the description for the post. After description, I need, uh, let's say, categories. Oh my gosh. Categories. Then I need. Uh, post meta I need post Robert Robert spelling is not right here and then I need uh, meta title meta title and then I need uh, meta description and I believe I need two more fields out here. So I'm going to hit go. And here would be created by and created on. Okay, that seems pretty fine. For the title, it would be a word chart description, let's say long text, uh, categories, word chart again, post meta word chart, and same goes to post. Robots. description like say text created by would be a word chart and created on would be date time okay so let's say title to 200 description would be a long text categories 200 I believe 200 would be for all of them Created by would be 100 and the date time would be date time. So it would be an auto increment and primary key for our main ID. I'm gonna hit save and we have our table ready up here. Uh, next thing we need to do is, guys, uh, I just wanna take care of these, you know, anchor links we have out here. So what I would be doing is out here. Where I have my post dot uh, php, I have included a file on the very top. It says post header dot php. And if you will come to my includes, you can see post header dot php out here. So same thing I would be doing with my uh, post dot php. No, I'm sorry. With my create post dot php. So I would be grabbing this piece of code and I'm going to paste it out here. So come back, <coughs> refresh, and one more thing we need is we need to provide the correct link towards our pages. So this would be posts.php. This would be uh, no. This one would be post.php, and this one would be create posts. Okay, and for the categories, I can say categories.php. Come back. What is this? Refresh. Why oh, it's not working? Hmm. But if you will look out here on the bottom, it says localhost CMS admin create post.php. So that means our link is not broken. Okay. If I go to my JS file out here, I have made them return to false. That is the reason. Okay. If I say view post, it will go to this page. I'll say admin, it will come back to this page. Okay, guys. Now it's working fine. And what I did is I have, you know, deleted all my categories from here. So I would be, you know, creating them from scratch. 
but very first what I need to do is I will be going to my create categories.php file uh, where it says name to category name I will be making um, like an array so category name with these two brackets that will be that will make this particular thing an array in PHP okay and now I would be creating some categories from here so let me say very first category to uh, be anything let's say CSS or something like this as cutting style suits and in the bracket CSS hit enter so we have our very first category being created and when one more thing I can do is I'll go to my JS file uh, here I can say dollar this dot well is equals to no or you can say like this uh, your category that well is equals to no if you're not sure what does that means let me show you if you see our this particular text box or I would say input box has the well has an ID of category create so I'm saying make this particular thing to know and out here I can show you guys in demo so I will be creating another one and let that point to be HTML or beginners okay I'm gonna hit enter let's see I have got two categories and now this particular field is again back to no uh, come back to the scripts I will be creating a one more file I would be saying uh, get categories.php dot php I'll open my create category one I'm gonna grab this particular piece of code Look, come back here I'm going to say include once connection dot php then out here I will be pasting it and to my post.php or I would say create post.php okay that will be out here I will be saying php include once scripts slash get categories dot php come back refresh I still have these two categories out here now so even I'm creating a new category I will have the list of all those categories out here or if I'm gonna refresh the page I will have again the list of all the categories out here so our categories thing have been finished now now we can take care of our create posts for that what we need to do is I have to create one more file inside my scripts folder and I'm gonna say here is create posts dot php and I'm gonna say php tags here again include once would be our connection dot php and include once our session dot php okay then I'm going to say if is set dollar underscore post submit if the person is hitting a submit button then go ahead and do some stuff and that would be from here so our title field has a name it does not okay it has a name of title 
So let us say dollar title would be equal to dollar underscore post title. Then the description will have a name of content. So let us say dollar content will be equal to dollar underscore post content. After this, I have our meta title. So I'm gonna say dollar meta title would be dollar post meta title. Same goes to the rest of the three fields. So meta description. Post meta description. And meta Roberts with the daughter post meta Roberts. Then here would be meta tags. So I have all these. Next thing I need is <coughs> my category's name. So here it is category name. Let's say dollar underscore post category name. Okay. And I believe till now I'm missing my form tags out here. Yeah, I am. So out here I would be saying from method to post action would be create posts dot php okay Give it some tabs or let's do one of them together that looks pretty fine and out here I can actually close my farm tag. So come back, refresh. Everything looks pretty fine. And out here on the top I can include my file which would be scripts slash create posts.php. Again refresh. Now everything is fine. Now, I would be going back to my create post 